Parts of Juneau saw damaging floods in early August when Suicide Basin and the Mendenhall Glacier released water, causing the Mendenhall River to overflow. This week, the Biden administration approved a federal disaster declaration for the 49th state's capital. This will provide federal funds for both individual and public entities in the affected area to help with recovery efforts. According to the city and borough of Juneau, the request came in on September 19th, nearly a month ago. Alaska's congressional delegation reacted positively to the declaration with Senator Dan Sullivan saying, quote, the damage to homes and property in the wake of record-breaking flooding in Juneau this August is extensive. While there was thankfully no loss of life, the Mendenhall Valley community faces an overwhelming recovery process. Senator Lisa Murkowski, meanwhile, says she stands with the people of Juneau. She was quoted as saying, As the community wrestles with the potential of additional flooding, this declaration comes at a critical time for recovery efforts in our state's capital. Representative Mary Paltola weighed in as well, expressing relief for the approval while saying there is much left to do. She added, Local effort efforts led by the city, Clinkett and Haida, and all of those who stepped up will finally get the federal support they need. We're monitoring this process closely to make sure funding gets to Mendenhall Valley without delay.